G'day, I'm Goose, and welcome to Pocket for Monday the 7th of November. Now, Nick and the rest of the Pocket team are having a well-earned break after their whirlwind adventure down in Melbourne for PAX. So, Gagaliers reunite! Because today on the show, a whole blizzard worth of news, zombies that can't be left for dead, and some realistic tank warfare. Knock that up in five minutes. All right, here's what made headlines over the weekend. And first up, the 10th official BlizzCon wrapped up. And so as expected, we got a whole ton of Blizzard news. Diablo 3 will soon receive an annual update that includes content from the original Diablo. Titled The Darkening of Tristram, players will be able to face off against the four main bosses from the original game. The Butcher, Skeleton King, Lazarus, and of course, Diablo himself. The update also has all of the original music and graphical filters to really bring the vanilla experience to your ears and eyeballs. The update will drop on the public test realm next week, so hopefully the launch will be shortly after that. And that's not all! Do you like raising armies from the dead and exploding corpses? Of course you do, you sicko. Because Diablo 3 will soon have just the class for you. The Necromancer has been unveiled as the next playable class for the game, and you'll be able to purchase it sometime in 2017. Next up, and there's a new Hearthstone expansion on the way! Yeah, Nick's missing all the good shit! Mean Streets of Gadget Zan will send players to the biggest trade city in Azeroth for some lawless shenanigans. The expansion will introduce multi-class cards and also class factions. Grimy Goons for Hunter, Warrior and Paladin, Cabal for Mage, Priest and Warlock, and Jade Lotus for Druid, Rogue and Shaman. The expansion will have 132 new cards and is set to drop early December. And moving from cards to shooty bang bangs, Overwatch has a new hero. Finally. After a frustrating few months of online ARG analyzing, whatever that is, screenshot examining and website investigations by the community, Blizzard have officially announced Sombra. The new offense hero is equipped with hacking abilities and stealth tactics to infiltrate enemy lines. Plus her ultimate looks like a real game changer. Sombra will be heading to the public test realm in the near future, so we'll be hacking the mainframe soon enough. And finally, two characters from the World of Warcraft universe have entered the Heroes of the Storm Arena. Ragnaros and Varian Rin are the latest characters to join the roster, but no one plays MOBAs, so who cares? And moving away from Blizzard, the team at Turtle Rock Studios have had quite a bit of time on their hands and decided to raise the dead. Again. An unfinished campaign from the original Left 4 Dead has been brought back to life by some of the original development team, who haven't had much to do since multiplayer support for their monster hunting flash in the pan game Evolve was canned by 2K. Ah, Evolve! I still remember those 26 minutes like it was yesterday. It was the one with the monsters, right? The forgotten campaign level entitled Damn It was originally intended to take the group of zombie slaying misfits through a number of unused locales, including an apple orchard, ravine, and campground before finishing up at a giant hydroelectric dam, but it was scrapped before the game's initial 2008 release. However, it can now be downloaded as a PC add-on, but keep in mind it's apparently still in a grey box stage of development, meaning certain events and triggers have not fully been implemented. So expect a fair few bugs with your zombies, and staying on bugs, it's time for Thing of the Day. Now with more bug. This hover tank DLC is available for Battlefield 1, and let's just say it's quite effective at air combat, as Hatchiput demonstrates. Oh, I'm floating! I'm floating! Guys, guys, look at me, look at me. Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> oh I'm getting hit! I'm oh, my God. God. oh my God! Thanks a lot, Dice. Thanks very much. <laughs> That's it for today's episode of Pocket News, my gaggleers. On behalf of everyone here at Team Pocket, a massive thank you to everyone who came down and said hi at PAX in Melbourne this weekend. Was it you? Did you come and say hi? Did you miss the whole thing and now you need someone's shoulder to cry on? Well, why not join the Pocketeers Facebook group and Steam group? There are links to everything I just said in the description. Today's thing of the day was made by the man himself, Connor Masters. What a master. If you've made a thing, you can send it in. Until next time that Nick forgets to come in for work on a Monday because he was off partying too hard in Melbourne, having a great time down at PAX because 
because they didn't invite me, but I didn't really want to go, but it looks like they had a really good time. And maybe next time I can go, but it'd be nice if they just asked me in the first place. Goose out. Ah, Melbourne. Birthplace of the Victorian manor, leader in public transport, and hoarder of bees. Seriously, what's with all the bees?